Okay, I'm going to do a video that will uh, hopefully help you out because I've been two days working with this uh, Sony HDV camera. Uh, I teach in a high school and these cameras were given to us by a local television station. Because they're uh, uh, old technology, they use a tape, but they're very good quality, beautiful lenses, beautiful optics, uh, good circuitry and whatever, neutral density filters built in, you've got... Um, uh, ways to hook up, uh, you got XLR inputs for microphone, you've got full control over iris, uh, shutter speed, things like that. The, it is a good quality camera. The only problem is you can't just pop out the SD card and put it into a computer. So you've got to transfer your footage from the HDV camera into a computer. And I'm just going to go through that and hopefully uh, might save you a little bit of time and help you out. First of all, um, this camera shoots in HDV or what's called DV. Now you want to be in HDV, which is uh, 1440 pixels by 1080, or is what they call 1080p. That's high resolution. Um, DV is much smaller, it's 720 by 480, and I was having some trouble uh, getting my, uh, my footage to transfer. I could get it to transfer as DV, but not as HDV. So I shot footage in HDV, and I just want to show you how we hook it up and how we transfer it, okay? Um, First thing you're going to need is something called a firewire cable and a firewire port. So I'm just going to move over to the window so you can see these a little bit better. Um, these are the ends of a firewire cable. One end, or it's sometimes called an iLink cable. And I think this is uh, proprietary to Sony. Um, so what you've got on one end, this is the camera hookup. I know that looks like USB, but it's not. Uh, so that end there goes into the camera. And that end there, which is called firewire, uh, that will go into your computer. You need a special card for your computer. So let's go back and take a look at that. <clears throat> um, so this is the card. I had to go out and buy a Windows 7 computer because we have Windows 10 computers here. And I put the card in and it didn't recognize it. Um, also, I don't have as much uh, freedom with these other work computers because they have all kinds of firewalls and and admin passwords and stuff like that. So I just went and bought one for $55 at a used computer store. Works great. So there's the, the, there's the card right there. You need to have one of those. I think it's called an ISA slot or something like that. And on the back, uh, you can see here, um, this one has three ports to hook up your firewire cable. And then the firewire cable hooks up uh, to the bottom of the camera right here. And you can see that the light is on HDV. And um, not sure why, I don't know why they don't just shoot at HDV all the time. But the, one of the problems I had was that in order to transfer my footage, the piece of software I had would only take DV. So I actually had to trick the camera into thinking that I was sending it, or it was actually downgrading it or compressing it from HDV to DV. Okay, in the event that you have to do that, I just want to show you something in the menu, okay? Um, this is what you call an in and out menu, and it deals with um, in and out. So like sending uh, data in and out of the camera. Um, you'll see here something called an iLink, hang on. You'll see something called an iLink converter. Now, with the other piece of software I had, I had to turn this on, which means that it was converting it from HDV to DV. And then what was going into my computer was ending up as 720 by 480, which I don't want. That's very low resolution, okay? Uh, but you want to leave that off. So you're not converting it from HDV down to DV, okay? Uh, down convert, I'm not exactly sure what that means. And AV to DV out, I, I have that turned off. That had something to do with, to do with it as well. But if you want to check those, that's the main thing. The iLink converter is turned off. So it's not converting it from, uh, from 1080p down to 720 or whatever it is. Okay. Um, also, this card in your computer, uh, in Device Manager, it will appear as an IEEE-1394 bus host controller. 
And this one happens to be a Texas Instruments uh, 1394. So if you're looking for, for a card, sometimes they're just known as 1394 cards. Sometimes they're just known as uh, Firewire cards or whatever. So when you've installed it, you want to check Device Manager and make sure that it's in there properly. And, of course, you can right-click on it and hit Properties, and it should say this device is working properly. Okay, so I'm going to close Device Manager. Now, here's the software that I had on another computer, and I kind of forgot what it was. It's called HDV Split, and I had something else, but it wouldn't work because it only recognizes DV, but this one recognizes HDV, and it's called HDV Split because <clears throat> if you start and stop your camera for different scenes, um, it will split them all into separate files, which is something that you want. Okay, so here's HDV split. Okay, uh, the most important thing that you want, it won't do anything. If you just want to jump in and hit uh, render, uh, it's not going to do anything until you actually give it a file name. I'm just going to call it test and output directory. You have to tell it to go somewhere, so uh, the first time you use it, it won't know. So I'm just going to use my desktop. Okay. And also, the, uh, another error I had down here, as soon as I hit the record button right here, this is for capturing, um, it said down here that I didn't have uh, an MPEG-2 encoder and that I should install something called FFT something or other. I can't remember what it was called now. Um, FTT show. FFT show or something like that. And I had to tweak that. I had to go online and do a little bit of research on as to what that was. And you have to actually set it up properly uh, to work with, uh, with HDV split. Now, there's a couple things you can do here. One is called scene split. So what it will do is you can run your tape, and it will capture your video. But at the same time, it will split all your different scenes into different files. Okay? You've also got preview, so that way you can see the video uh, as you're running it. Okay, as you're capturing it. So um, on your camera, and I just did a test video here, I just want to make sure that my tape is rewinded. That's the thing about tapes, you've got to rewind them, make sure that they're at the beginning. I know it's old technology, but hey, these are nice cameras. Okay, um, over here, and I think that's rewinded, I'll rewound all the way back to the beginning. I have to turn off menu. I was told to do that. All right, so over here, when you hit... Uh, the capture button or the record button, you'll notice that it will kick this thing into gear. So it is telling the camera to play. And over here, you are going to get your playback. Okay, and it is capturing, and somewhere on the uh, desktop, it's making a file. I think it's that one there. Okay, but it is running through the footage right here. This is just some silly test footage I did. It's not moving here for some reason. Did I get an error? Warning, your system may not be fast enough to preview video. Okay, so it's telling me that I can't preview it. Let's do 1 64th. You can tell it uh, what size of a frame you want to see when you're previewing. But I think that's just for preview. Um, I wouldn't be too worried about preview at this point in time. So I could actually turn off preview. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to, and it's, it's now rendered about 52 seconds of video. I'm just going to hit stop, okay, and that stopped the camera over here. And I think that this is the video that I, that I captured. I'm just going to move it over here. Da, 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 da. And yes, it is. So it has captured the video. And the problem I had before was that it was down converting uh, my video down to uh, 720. So I'm just going to do a right click on this and hit properties, details, and yes, you can see that it is 1440 by 1080 at 29 frames per second. Okay? So hopefully this helps you out. This was uh, two full days of work for me to figure out how to get this, but we now have a couple of these beautiful Sony HDV cameras. We have our FireWire cable, we have our FireWire card, and we have a, a cheapy used computer store uh, the desktop that is just for the sole purpose of transferring our files into this. And I wouldn't even try to run an editor on this like I use Adobe Premiere. So basically I would pop my little card in there and I would copy my footage and then bring it to another computer to do my editing. Okay, so hopefully that helps.